Okay, so today we're going to be installing OpenELEC, which is um, a repository for Kodi player. So it's a special build for Kodi. Um, the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, install a disk manager so we can write it to an SD card. So um, what you want to do is you want to open your web browser and you want to find something called Win32 is Disk Imager. So that's on the SourceForge website. Um, you want to download that, which is what we're going to do now. Once you've downloaded that, you want to install it. So we'll install that. So we run through the install and then we can run it. So that's it running. So we're finished with the installation of that. Now the next thing you want to do is to download and install the right version for your player. So in our instance we're going to be installing it on a Raspberry Pi 2. So we go to Raspberry Pi builds on the openelec.tv download section and we want to install the stable release and we want the disk image. You can come back and get an update file for when they've updated it but in our instance we're actually just going to download the disk image so we're going to save that. Once that's downloaded, we the first thing that we need to do is we need to extract the image file and then we're going to use W32 Disk Imager or Disk Manager to um, populate, uh, write the image out to the SD card. So once that's downloaded, you want to navigate to your downloads directory and it's a 7-zip file or a gzip file. We're going to, we've got 7-zip installed, so we need to extract this now. So we do a right click and we're going to say extracts here, which is done. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to insert our SD card into I've just got a uh, card reader. There we go. So um, at the moment it can't recognize it so because it's completely empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Disk Manager and I'm going to find my drive which is there and I'm going to create a simple volume on it. Give that G, that's fine. And we want to format it with FAT32 to start with. Okay, so that's it. That's now formatted correctly. Now the next thing that we want to do is we want to go back to our W32 disk imager. Um, we've already got our drive selected here with the G drive and now we want to find our image file that we decompressed earlier. So I'm going to select that, click on open, nothing else to do there at all, just double check because it is going to over overwrite the drive um, so you want to make sure that you've definitely got the right disk selected and then we're going to say write. What that does, it creates its own partitions and copies the image installation onto the drive. We can then insert that into our Raspberry Pi and we can start things up. Okay, so that's completed. Cancel that, you don't want to mess around with that. But this is what your E drive should look like once it's uh, been written to the disk.
the SD cards plugged in and uh, this is the first boot up. So we'll run through the installation, it's fairly simple. It takes a couple of minutes just to set up um, the disc. It'll repartition it and populate it with all the stuff that it needs. And then what we're going to do is we'll set the Wi-Fi settings. So in my Pi, I've got a uh, USB Wi-Fi dongle and I've also got a USB um, dongle that I use with the remote control. So once it's set up the partitions, it will reboot again. And then it will load up. Um, the screen will go blank for about a minute or 30 seconds or so. It'll reboot again um, and then it'll be ready to continue the setup. Okay, that's it. So what I've got for the initial setup, I've got a keyboard and mouse connected. Um, I don't actually use that once we're up and running, but um, it's, it's quite easy to set up the network configuration um, using the keyboard. Okay, so we want to click on Next. Um, you can set the, uh, the host name here for whatever you want. I'm going to accept all of the defaults. And then I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Say OK, that's the Wi Fi key entered. And there you can see it's picked up a DHCP address and it's ready to continue. Now, if you've got a cable, then it would, you would do exactly the same, but uh, in my instance, I'm not using a network cable, I'm only using Wi Fi. Uh, now, I'm going to enable SSH because um, I'm going to be logging onto it later on to do updates and things. Uh, you can come back to your configuration and set this um, later on if you want, but I'm going to do it now. Um, I'm not going to enable Samba, so if you've got external storage connected to your Pi or whatever device, you can share out the um, um, you can share out the the shares using the Samba protocol. I'm not going to use that, but it's enabled anyway. And that's it. So that's that's all there is to it. The next thing that you want to do is you'd want to go through and populate. Um, so you can see here if you if you've got your movies on um, an external server. So let's configure that. We'll say add videos. Uh, these are all the defaults. So home folder, root file system. These are all on the uh, on the actual device itself. I'm going to select uh, UPnP and of course it, uh, it's not finding a drive for that so I'm actually going to select my uh, network file system and this is my NAS drive that's connected to the network and I've got my drives, uh, my videos in shared videos and then I'm going to OK that. And we're going to tell it that it contains movies. So that will use the, uh, the movie database uh, to get the information from. And then we're going to say they're in different directories. I'm going to say OK. OK. You can ignore this uh, error. Um, it just can't, at the moment, for some reason, the movie database appears to be down, uh, so it can't connect to um, get all of the information that it needs. So that's what you'd do for your movies. You'd do exactly the same for your music.
So we're going to add music, browse, and again I'm going to use my NFS file system. You can use the uh, Windows network if you uh, if you want, if your devices support it. I'm going to say OK to that as well. Uh, and eventually all of your uh, all of your music will populate once it's updated everything so it's going to take a little while to update but that's all there is to it again if you've got TV uh, pictures so let's have a look at pictures so I could do the same for pictures Add pictures and again browse the NFS file system on the NAS drive Add that there, and that will then take a little while to populate, but uh, they will appear eventually. There we go. You can see it's uh, at the moment it's downloading all the information. So it's picked up some folders there, and that's all there is to it. So once you've got everything set up and to how you want it you can obviously configure um, whatever you want to on the system um, to close it down or to shut the system off we're just going to click on the power button and go to power off the system so if you found this video useful it'd be great if you could like it and also subscribe to the channel um, our next video we'll be producing will be adding the OPN, open vpn uh, to kodi um, what that gives you is a little bit of security around uh, what you're watching 